Hello, Teach Meet Coventry. My name is Andy Colley. I'm um, a computing teacher from Manchester and I'm here to talk about a butterfly and a man with a moustache. Now, the butterfly is this one. And the man with the moustache is a man called Ron Berger. There we go. And back sometime early 2000s, what Ron did is he did some work in America with some children about how to improve their work using a technique called critique. Um, and the example he always gives, and I've included the video elsewhere in this Prezi, um, is one of Austin's butterfly, which shows how Austin, who was a primary school child, went from a rather unscientific drawing of a butterfly to a really accurate drawing of a butterfly with the help of feedback from his peers. Um, and there are some key concepts within that um, idea about feedback and critique to improve that I've basically stolen wholesale and I'm starting to use with my classes. So, as well as Ron's work, I've also stolen heavily for want of a better phrase, some people call it research, but it is basically stealing from the work of these two wonderful tweeters, Tate Coles and Darren Meads. If you're on Twitter, look them up and start to follow them. If you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter and follow them. Um, and this is where I'm at. So, to start with, before I discovered critique, when I was getting people to give feedback to each other. I wasn't particularly happy with the effort that they were putting in. Um, and the problem is, if we look at what Hattie says about feedback, we know that it has quite a large effect size. Um, so when we were getting, when I was giving up valuable lesson time, because I only have an hour a week, I was giving up valuable lesson time to help, to give my people's time to give each other feedback, and this is the sort of response I was getting, then there wasn't really much point. Pupils weren't improving, levels weren't going up, um, and they weren't really engaging with the process. And that was my fault, because I hadn't given them any rules for the feedback. I just said, off you go, give someone else some feedback. It didn't work. So, what we're going to look at now are some of the core tenets of what we call public critique, and how I introduce them into, um, in particular, some work I'm doing with my year nines. So. The core ideas are based around this. If it's not excellent, it's not finished. Um, which is code, really, for saying, don't hand in any rubbish. It also helps prevent that feeling when you're marking. Not altogether, but it does have an effect. So, once we've got, if it's not excellent, it's not finished, we start to think about, that's going to take us time. It was really difficult to find the time with an hour a week lessons, but we did it. We took the extra time. Um, we had um, a lesson of critique on someone else's work first, as in a whole class critique, and then we made time for pupils to be able to swap over pieces of work and really dig deep. Um, but in order for them to dig deep and give quality feedback, um, you have to be really, really specific about the success criteria, criteria for the piece of work they're feeding back on. Um, this is an example of some success criteria I put up for um, a piece of work about future technology. So I made it really clear what I was looking for and what they should be looking for and what level that related to as well. Um, then you establish the rules, which are be tough on content, be kind on people, or soft on people rather because it's not a personal attack on you, even though you spent ages on this piece of work and put lots of effort in, it is a way of helping you improve. And secondly, be kind, but be specific. We're not just saying, I like the colours here. What area of the work are you giving feedback on? And what specifically about the work um, could be improved? And finally, be helpful. If you're saying it could be improved, give suggestions for how that could happen. So. We also started to include something that I use with my classes called the band list, which is a group of words that we do not use in answers, um, on if we can use a keyword instead. 
that's the ban list at the moment, it's getting bigger. Um, and we started to see an impact in terms of students were a lot clearer about what I was looking for. Because they were looking for success criteria in others' work, they were more likely to include it in their own. They were using key terms in student answers instead of the band list. Uh, they were very clearly able to talk about what they've improved due to feedback. They saw what was in it for them, W double I F M. what's in it for me, uh, and they had a good idea of, oh, if I make these changes, then I'll get a higher level. I'll get better marks. My work will be better. They were arguing with each other. It was brilliant about the quality of the feedback and what we call feed forward, which we call suggestions for improvement. There were more level sixes and sevens in this unit than the one where I hadn't done critique. And it's starting to change their mindset and their habits. Not for everyone, it takes longer, but we're getting there. So here's an example. We're get starting to get some really nice suggestions for improvement and some feedback in terms of um, spotting where the good bits are in the work. So we call spotting the good bits feedback, we call suggestions for improvement feed forward. And they're even not being personal, so it's kind so instead of you could have, the information could have been or could have been. Again, another example. I'll include this Prezi um, in with the video so that you can have a look at it in your own time. But we'll talk about brilliant feedback and engagement on feed forward and engagement from the pupil engaging with the success criteria. And what's next? Well, I need to make my frameworks clearer for all the units I teach. I'd done it for this unit and it's forced me to go back and do it for other units as well. Um, I didn't explain the difference between feedback and feed forward very clearly at the start of this, and I'm getting better at that. Um, I've nicked so that from your very own John Bridgman, so that in my objectives I'm setting so that. We are learning this so that you will be able to do that. And finally, I've got to keep going. I've started, so I need to carry on and really embed it in my classes. Um, that's been my presentation. That's me. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of the Teach Meet. Good night.